Hey, how's it going? This is Jesse here at REI Conversion. Today, I'm going to show you how to embed Google My Maps onto your WordPress website. So what is Google My Maps? Google My Maps allows you to create a set of locations or routes or areas that you want to highlight on Google Maps and share that with your website viewers or your following or whoever you may want to share that with. You can see here that we have Google My Maps actually now included on the newest update for REI Landlist. So if you are a user of REI Landlist or are interested in setting up REI Landlist, um, it now comes baked in here. All you just need to do is replace the uh, uh, code embed and uh, it also comes on our properties page. So now you are able to map out all your properties on Google and link them to your actual property page. So you can see here, if I click on one of my properties here, it'll bring us to the actual page of the property. All right, so let's come back to that. And it's actually a very simple process. Google has launched this recently and it's an awesome tool. Um, again, allowing you just map out all your properties so you can showcase which areas you're working out of. Um, you can customize the view of this. You can customize the map styling of this. And the beauty about this is uh, My Maps, you, you, it is a live update, so whenever you uh, change it on Google My Maps, it'll show up live on your site. It might take a couple minutes for it to propagate. And also, there's no complications with using API. So if you're planning to use a plugin for uh, showing maps or locations of your properties with a plugin, you typically would need an API, and uh, that may cost you, may or may not cost you, depending on... Um, how many people actually visit that or load that map. But with this way, uh, it's virtually gonna cost you nothing. And it's all handled inside of Google. So it's super lightweight. It's great for SEO as well. And it can um, update live, which I love. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Whether you're using uh, REI Land List or any other WordPress theme for your land selling or your house selling website, you can do this and embed it um, on your own website. So the first thing you want to go is uh, Google Maps, uh, sorry, Google My Maps, and you can follow this link up here or just Google Google My Maps and then hit get started. I've actually already created my first map. You can see here, if I click into it, you can see all my properties, all my sample properties are already laid out onto here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and create a new map. All right. So it's fairly simple um, to be able to create a new map. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is give this a title. So let's just call this sample map and then just give it a sample description. All right, so how you want to organize your properties is really up to you. If you're working out of several different states or uh, perhaps counties and you only focus on certain counties, um, that may be how you want to group it. So typically I would use the layer function to group your properties. And in my example, I'm going to go ahead and group things by, in this example, let's just do by county. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and double click on this to edit the first layer. So I'm going to call this county one uh, group. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a second county, right? So um, I'll add a second county. And I'll just double click this. I'm just going to show you how to do two counties today or two groups, however you, however you want to call it. It's just, again, a, a way to organize things. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do is just go into your selected group. Now, you may not see this, but in order to select that group, you can see the blue bar here on the side changing. All right, so I'm, I've selected this one. It's sometimes hard to see. I didn't notice that at first. The next thing I'm going to do is mark out my first property. All I'm going to do is zoom into my actual location of my property. You can search it. And all I'm going to do is add a marker. Oops. Right. Let's just say my properties here. Property one. And in the description, I'm going to add the link to that property. So www.property.com and hit save. Now, when you do link it, Google does uh, let the viewer know they are getting redirected to an external page because it is through Google and Google does want to make aware that it is not going to be a Google page that they're loading. Okay. So 
when you've added a point here, um, this is the property location, you can do more than just add the point. You can go ahead and even outline that property parcel if you'd like. So I'll draw the, I'll use the line tool. Let's just say this is my property parcel and I can outline that parcel. All right, so you could call it property, and you can add to this. You can call it property one um, parcel outline, right? And I mean, you could you could use this. Uh, you could group it in different ways. You could perhaps have your group one or your layer one just uh, the point of the property, and then group two is all the parcel outlines. It's really up to you how you want to do that. Um, maybe you want to be able to toggle on and off the uh, parcel shape. Um, it's again, you, the creativity is all up to you, and uh, you can always update this on the go at any time, and it will reflect on your actual website, which is the beauty about this. Now, with this icon here, you can always switch the style of the icon. You can you can put a little house. Um, you could put a little um, whatever you want to do, right? I'm just going to use this little pointer here, and you can change the color. Perhaps you want to group things by color, and then again, that's up to you. Maybe um, this. Um, property outline is going to match the color of my uh, property one pin. So that's essentially what you can do. You can go to your second group. Let's say this is a different county I'm working out of. So that's my first property and I'm working in a completely different county. Um, I don't know. Let's just say we have a piece of property over here, right? I'll do the same thing. I'll drop a pin. Oops, sorry, just drop the pin. Get the crosshairs, I'll drop it down, and uh, property two, right? And then, uh, sorry, I forgot, I want, on, I want to add the um, URL for that, so www.property2.com, whatever it may be, right? So I'll hit save. And that's essentially it. You just want to be able to just go ahead and add all your properties and make it easily discoverable on your Google Maps. Okay, let's just say we've added all our properties, we've styled it the way we want to style it, and let's have a quick preview of what this looks like. So I'll hit preview here, and I can zoom out, and you can see my two properties are in view here, right? So we've got property one, property two. Okay, so once we're happy with this, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to, first of all, um, choose a base map. And what the base map is, is what sort of a map design you would like. So you've got a, several options here. You can go through, you've got your satellite view, you've got terrain view. Uh, let's go ahead and use the terrain view. So that's the one I wanna use. Um, it shows a little bit of terrain and, and texture on the, on the map itself. And then the next thing you can do is actually set a default view for your property. So let's say I want my default view to be a little bit zoomed out like this because I'm going to have a lot more properties. Then I'm going to hit the dot, dot, dot here. And then I'm going to set a default view. And that's going to be my default view. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, share this on our website or embed this on our website. The first thing you actually need to do before that is go to share and hit um, this one here, private only can only you can access. You want to change that. You want to change that to on public on the web, and then hit save. All right, done. If you don't do that, you won't be able to embed that on your website. The next thing you want to do is just go in here and then hit embed on my site, and it's as easy as that. You grab the iframe code here. All right, copy that. Come into your website. So uh, let's use. Um, one of our demo websites. So we'll come into our home page and we'll go into pages, all pages. And this is inside of REI land list. This is one of our testing uh, websites that we do some of our testing on and we'll hit edit. Um, whether you have a page builder or whatever it might be, um, this is our page builder. We make it very easy with Elementor. So it's sort of drag and drop of widgets. Uh, so I'll just look for the HTML widget, I'll drag it in wherever I want it. So I want it under here and I'll just paste the code and voila. 
it now shows up. Now, uh, as a designer, I like a little bit of breathing room, so I'm going to add a little bit of space. So you can see it's pretty easy to work with this theme. So you can see now both of my properties are showing up. If I click here, it'll show uh, my uh, the legend for all the properties here. And if I click onto that, um, it'll give me the details. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. I can do all sorts of things uh, with this. And the beauty again is when I come into here, if I make any changes, let's say, you know, I did not like uh, the title. Let's just say the title I wanted to change. This should be uh, example map, maybe instead of sample map. Or I wanted to change or add new properties. Let's say uh, I'll add one more property here. I'll go to group two and it's going to be around here. I'll just go ahead and add a new property quickly. Let's say here, property three. I'll hit save. Boom. All right, so this will actually reflect on our actual site. All right, so now that we've made the change, it will take actually a couple minutes for that to push through. You don't need to do any changes on your actual website. All the changes can be handled inside of the Google My Maps. So you can update at any time. All right, so I hope you found this helpful on creating your own Google My Maps. So if you're using REI land list or house list, we're going to be including this in our updates. Uh, it'll allow you to just simply replace that code. So we'll already have laid this out for you. We'll also add it inside your properties page. So on your catalog page for all your properties, you'll also have a map that you can enable or disable. If you're interested to learn more about REI land list, you can head over to www.reiconversion.com slash land list. Again, I hope you found this video helpful on setting up your own Google My Maps for your property.